guys and welcome back to Gagliardi Photography. Today I celebrate with you the first 200 subscribers and it's not much of course but I hope to improve my channel and to propose to you more and more interesting material. Today I propose to you a comparison between my new Mac Studio with the new M1 Max processor and two other computers, an old iMac 27 inches with i7 processor with 4 GHz and 24GB of RAM with SSD and the other computer is a PC with Windows 11 with AMD Ryzen 3900X 12 processors with 32GB of RAM and of course SSD the purpose of this test is to understand how much this new machine can help photographers and video producers. To make this comparison, uh, we will use two Adobe programs, Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Premiere, which are the most used for editing photos and videos and therefore affect many users. Regarding Photoshop, we'll make two experiments. First, we'll create a panoramic image from 13 45 megapixel photos taken with the Nikon D850 using the photo merge feature from Adobe Bridge. The second experiment will be to take a folder with about 100 raw images made with the Nikon D850 we will open these images with Adobe Bridge and inserting an automatic exposure correction and then at the end we will save these images in TIFF format. So let's do this test and then we'll talk later for the final considerations.
here for the conclusions. Uh, I've been working very hard on this comparison for a long time and I'm very pleased with the results. I hope they will be helpful for you too. And in this final summary table, I will show you the increase in performance so you can have a clearer idea of what the improvements are. Please remember that the iMac I use is 80 years old, so a noticeable difference in speed is normal. Uh, for what I've seen, Photoshop seems particularly optimized for the M1 processor. Premiere a little less, at least for the functions I tried and that I used more. Overall, this Mac Studio really excited me uh, for the simple way it can handle large workloads. And uh, among other things, uh, the fan is almost always silent and the processor temperature never exceeds 50 degrees Celsius. I will also analyze the power consumption and soon I will make an episode dedicated to this topic. In conclusion, I say that the work of Apple is really wonderful and you really have the feeling to, to have a concentrate of technology and power in front of you. That's really great. Thank you for following me in this long episode and I hope to see you soon in the next one. Bye bye from Gagliardi Photography.